Hello, this is Porgio. Welcome to a new episode. Um, for those who are confused, I am deleting my Goku vs. Superman video. Uh, I rushed that video. I felt that I could have done better at that. And uh, in case people didn't like how I uh, stated the facts on that, I'm going to be doing a redo on this video. So again, I apologize if people are looking into that video and seeing why I deleted it. Uh, the outcome is still the same, and uh, I still think Superman will beat Goku in a uh, fight to the death match. I don't like that. I hate the fact that I know that, because I'm a big fan of Goku, have always been a fan of Goku, and I find Superman to be a bore. Uh, but with that being said, I, I'm going to do this uh, un unbiasedly. And... Uh, the outcome when I when I looked through all the information, uh, there was no way I could see Goku ever over over uh, topping uh, over topping Superman. Uh, Superman's feats are just so ridiculous. It's I mean only the plots can beat him. That's the, that's the only way. Either either Batman's involved in this in some way or there's a plot against him. Uh, with that being said, let's break down why Go why Superman beats Goku and why Goku uh, would have come close, uh, shockingly. Uh, uh, but it wasn't to be, unfortunately. Um, but there are some things Screw Attack has stated that are false, and let's break that down to you right now. All right, with uh, Superman, Superman has never lifted Infinity. And he did not lift eternity entirely. Um, well, allow me to ex uh, explain that to you guys. Uh, with uh, with what uh, Screw Attack was talking about, the book of eternal uh, of of all all stories, it's not infinite. It's not an infinite mass. It's a it's a, it's a story that keeps going on, but it's currently being written. So there is a uh, solid weight foundation on that book. What I mean by that is the book is constantly writing new stories. So there is a point to the book where it, it has a uh, finite of, amount of stories. And it's going on from that point. And Superman and Shazam didn't even hold it. It, it dropped. It, it went down. It, it couldn't, they couldn't hold it. It's too heavy for them. Uh, so, but it wasn't an infinite amount of pages uh, because that would be ridiculous on all scales of reality and, and comic book. There would be no point for a Justice League if he could actually do that. Think about that. Uh, also, Eternity. Uh, he was had an Eternity uh, mass, which is a conscious and heavy mass uh, for the mind. Uh, Al Jordan collapsed from the strain of this. Uh, and to say that it's infinite is, 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 is bogus because that means everybody else who was involved in that had the same and equal amount of strength, including now Jordan who collapsed from exhaustion. <laughs> that would be, uh, th that'd be something, right, people? I mean, like, what's the point to uh, enemies at this point? They can't beat them. No, no, no. They didn't lift infinite amount of mass, all right? Um, so I, I implore you guys to check up on those facts uh, because there was some faulty in Screw Attack's explanation. Uh, Post-Flashpoint Superman has been nerfed severely. Uh, people can overpower him. People have overpowered him. Uh, uh, f for example, uh, Doomsday has, uh, has pummeled Superman before. That was... That was before Flashpoint. <laughs> uh, and... Uh, what's the man's name? Darkseid has pummeled Superman before. So to, to say he can't be overpowered by strength alone is uh, absurd because he has, he's been overpowered by strength before. Um, also, uh, Superman uh, pre-crisis is... Oh, wow. Uh, so let's stick with the modern Superman, because 
pre-crisis, that's that is a god Superman. Uh, there's no beating that Superman. No one beats that Superman. Period. Uh, but uh, post uh, Flashpoint Superman, uh, yeah, yeah, Goku has a great chance of beating uh, Superman at that point. However, it's not a matter of beating, but durability. And in durability, Superman outshines Goku. I know what a lot of people think, and Goku's taking a beating, yes, but he's never been able to come back planetary destruction power. Even Beerus has beaten Goku. Uh, God of Destruction has annihilated Goku. And that was when he was at Super Saiyan 3, and even in God form... I'm pretty sure Beerus can still beat Goku, as, as he is still fearing uh, Beerus at some points. Wiz is also stronger than both of those characters. So that shows you that Goku still has a limit. Um, on that note, though, uh, Superman has tanked planet destruction blows before and survived him with just damaged clothing and a couple of injuries in the face, but tanked it nonetheless. Uh, with that being said, there is no end point to Superman's durability. I mean, like, he has taken near-death experiences and lived through them. Uh, again, Doomsday. Doomsday, they thought that he killed him. Into, and instead, he, they just put him into a little slight coma or stasis sleep for healing. Uh, so, that's that. <laughs> There's not much you can say. Uh, Superman beats Goku in durability. Speed! In speed, Goku takes Superman. Alright, I'm, I'm going to say that right now. There is no way Superman will be able to keep up with Goku's speed. Superman can move fast. Yes, that's correct. But not at speed of light and beyond. Uh, actually, he needs to be in space to hit those speeds. Because that's the only time he has ever hit those speeds. And if he hit the speeds on Earth, it's because he had a vast distance uh, chance to get to those speeds. He cannot instantly go to those speeds. He has to build up. Goku, however, can hit those speeds instantly. Not only that, but he has instant transmission. Uh, with that being said, he can move instantly, and in a fight, he can do this instantly. He can concentrate fast enough and quick enough to battle with this technique, and he has shown to do that. You can watch Battle of the Gods, or you can watch an episode to where he fights with instant transmission against Cell, where he does instant uh, Kamehameha and blasts him in his face at point-blank range. Uh, he can travel anywhere with this technique. So there's the, uh, so in speed, I hands down give it to Goku. Uh, now reaction time, this is where he beats Goku. Reaction time, Superman is better played than Goku. And what I mean by that is, Goku is smart as a fighter, yes. And he has reacted, yes. But he has been his reaction time has been beaten before. Whereas Superman was able to uh, outsmart Barry Allen and react to his speed quick enough to flick him. I think he flicked him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he flicked him when Barry Allen was moving faster than Superman. So in reaction time, with that being all said, I give it to Superman. Uh, because Superman can process information ten, uh, 10 times faster than a human or 10,000 times faster than a human. I'm not too sure of those two. Please uh, comment below to uh, fix this for me. Um, I like reacting to you guys. I like talking to you guys. That's why I like you guys have being involved in my videos. Because comment sections are awesome. Um... Since he can process information faster than a human, uh, and Goku is as smart as a human, as a normal human, I'm going to say, a little less than smart, uh, that Superman can outsmart Goku in a fight. Period. Uh, so, in, uh, in brilliance, uh, mind, I'm going to give that to Superman. Skill. Skill goes to both. Both of them share... Uh, incredible techniques. Superman has laser beams. Superman uh, can use x-rays. Superman can mind read. Superman can block mind readers. Uh, Superman can fly. Superman can uh, go at high speeds. Superman can can uh, use uh, joint connection pinpoint uh, attacks to lock the uh, muscles. 
Um, so technique, Superman has techniques. He doesn't use them a lot, but he, he does have them. And Goku, where where his techniques would need to be implied against, Goku has many techniques. The Kaioken, the going Super Saiyan God, and then the going Super Saiyans in general, up to three, which he has mastered. Um, oh, he has instant transmission, uh, Kamehameha instant, Dragon Fist, Golden Dragon Fist, Dragon Fist explode. Uh, he has uh, key volley. Uh, he he can manipulate his key uh, with precision, with perfection, and he can go Super Saiyan God, uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan I believe it's called, uh, and or Super Saiyan Blue. Yes, there you go. A shorter term for it. He can go Super Saiyan Blue and go Kaioken on top of that blue from 1 to 20. Uh, he hasn't gone beyond 20 yet. Uh, so I won't post anything beyond 20 until I have seen that. Um, but it is noted that Goku, even in this godly form, has been beaten by people who are not gods. Hit is not a god. Clearly not a god. He's just very good at what he does. Uh, so with all of this, with all of this information, we can only we can only come up with the probability of Superman beating Goku because of natural facts. Goku, uh, Superman is superior in strength to Goku. Uh, Superman is also being able to react even with high speeds. So his instant transmission, Superman will be able to react to it. Uh, so. We can't we can't just ignore that fact. However, the claims of him lifting infinity and eternity they are all false claims. So, screw attack! Please, if you do watch this video, uh, do research on those and, and be more detailed in your analysis next time when you do a fight. But I do agree in this death battle outcome that Superman wins. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all the people who watches the video. You don't have to, but I do and I do hope that you subscribe to my channel. Thank you again. Happy holidays.